president of the United States, joined by her husband on stage as she makes history here in Chicago at the Democratic National Convention, formally accepting the nomination for president of the United States. And if the crowd wants Beyonce, they're at least hearing it right now as Tim Walls and his wife Gwen join the stage. Well, wherever Beyonce was watching, this is truly Kamala Harris's night on that stage tonight. And she really drew clear and sharp distinctions between herself and her opponent. Kind of a virtual confetti falling around them. The shot. Let's go down to Tom Gomez, who's on the floor of the convention and about to be hit with 100,000 balloons from the Raptors. Hey, Tom, if you can hear me, tell us what you're seeing. Hey, Savannah, how are you? Yeah, it is incredibly loud, as you can imagine. I was just looking up because it just started to happen. If I can get you guys to go up, the balloons are starting to fall. There is 100,000 of them falling right now at the United Center here in Chicago. I also want to let you know and to point out these, there are large American flags right here. The Democrats tonight sending a very clear message that no party has the monopoly on patriotism. They want to make sure Americans across the country know that Democrats as well are patriotic as these balloons fall. I spoke to some delegates here asking them about what they loved about the speech. Most of them said that the loudest cheers for them came when they were talking about Kamala Harris as a commander-in-chief, what she would do in Israel, what she would do in Ukraine. For them, that was the part they were cheering the most, and also about her life story, that her mother was the hero of her story. She was the leader in her family, that they were immigrants. They came here. Life was hard. They were not rich, and yet they figured it out and were able to have a good life, a life that she wants to give other Americans. And also, that they know who America is, and no one's going to tell them who America is, that she's going to lead America into the future. Clearly, the speech was well received as people, family, and friends are now gathering up on the stage with Kamala Harris and the second gentleman, Doug Emhoff, Governor Walls, and his family. Of course, his son, Gus, the surprise star from this convention after that moment yesterday. And Democrats all across the United Center celebrating right now the official ticket, Kamala Harris, Tim Walls, ready to take on the Republican ticket. And there's about 75 days left before Election Day. Savannah and Lester, I'm going to send it back to you. Balloons still falling in various sizes on the crowd here. People still soaking up the moment. Vice President Harris and her family. Somewhere beyond these balloons. Peter Alexander, uh, tell us exactly where you are on all this and uh, the things that stood out to you over the last half hour. Honestly, if you've, Lester, if you've ever been to a bounce house, this is that times like 10,000 right now. These balloons are enormous. And this moment, these folks have been waiting a long time for among them. My new friend Cheryl from Chicago, Cheryl, when Kamala Harris accepted the Democratic Party's nomination, the first woman of color to do so, you were in tears, wiping them away from your eyes. What moved you so much? I come from the middle class. My parents were from the middle class. My mom was a nurse, my dad worked at the post office, and I got to go to college. But my great-great-grandparents were slaves, and my daughter is in Congress. This is so overwhelming. I never thought I'd see this. You told me you never thought you'd see a moment like this. Say that? How could you imagine it? No, this is a heck of a moment. You're right. Hey, let me. So fast. I don't think we're going anywhere for a while. There are balloons all around us, so you better get. We better get comfortable for a bit. Hey, John, let me ask you. You're you're from West Hollywood, California. Yes, I'm the mayor. You stood up at least three dozen times throughout this speech. What was it that resonated with you and made this night so unique? It was hope. It's so great to believe in a candidate and someone that just wants to make the lives of American people better. And as a gay man from a, the first place of the Republican Party in Ripon, Wisconsin, to have someone up there that represents me as the president is just the best feeling in the world. John, very nice to meet you. I appreciate you. Savannah Lester, balloons, a little Beyonce, and the Democrats hope a political bounce toward November.
Red, white, blue, and Beyonce. Let's go to Kelly O'Donnell near the podium. Off the stage, also taking incoming from the balloons. Hey, Kelly. Well, we just saw Governor Tim Walz coming over here to wave close up to Nebraska, the state of his birth, and giving the high five and touching his heart as if to say thank you and hello to those people who share a common home state. And of course, from this angle, you get a real sense of how all of the extended family is now soaking up the moment of the famous balloon drop. It's a once in a lifetime experience for them, certainly. And we know there are 100,000 of these balloons, took days to put them together, high above the rafters. And when the queue came, they started floating down. What a night for the Democrats. What an impossibly hard to predict set of events, including whether there would be guests or special guests tonight. What really uh, was the focus of this night is the kind of change that Democrats have had in changing their ticket, now defining their candidate, their running mate, and now trying to take this from Chicago to battleground states and key places around the country. So this is the party. Uh, they're inflated with balloons, with confetti, and a night of a soundtrack about freedom. So as we wait for the last of the balloons to drift down, the stage is still full with the family and extended family. We saw Doug Emhoff's parents. We saw his first wife. We saw the grandnieces of uh, the vice president, who is now, of course, the nominee, and extended family members of a blended family that represents different cultures, different backgrounds, all together standing for the Walls, Harris families who now head on the road. Back to you up in the booth. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.